Have you heard of Industry 4.0? Jan Rosick, COO of Digital Industries at Siemens, asked a room full of analysts way back in 2018. Mrosik was referring to the onset of the fourth industrial revolution. Mrosik recounted that to see the fourth industrial revolution in action, one had to take a trip to Siemens factory in Hamburg, Germany. In Germany, in a facility that has been in production since 1989, people knew the World Wide Web existed well before the rest of the world. The transformation from analog manufacturing to analytics fueled digital production had been, it seems, unfolding there in real time. With innovation in its DNA, back in 2018 itself, Siemens had unveiled a new strategy. The objective was to revamp the 170-year-old behemoth into a new AI-led version of itself. The company also began shedding older lines of business. Meanwhile, it invested in technology it believed will allow it to dominate in the digital era. Over the years, Siemens manufacturing plants increasingly relied on smart machines and interconnected devices to build products that were cheaper, faster and more efficient. Fueled by advances in artificial intelligence, the Internet of Things and computing speed, Siemens' global business segments from auto to aerospace to retail have undergone massive changes. Siemens India has 32 factories, most of which are operating at full capacity in 2024 and need capacity expansions. The company announced one of its largest capex of Rs 10 billion for India, demonstrating the parent company's focus on India as a global base. At its analyst meet in 2024, aptly called the Innovation Day 2024, Siemens India showcased its latest innovations, solutions and partnerships. The new products and innovations are meant to help customers in sectors such as data centers, metro rail, oil and gas, steel, power transmission and distribution, etc. Also, the company plans to meet its own sustainability goals. Of these, the opportunity emanating from the data center business seems most promising. A data center is a facility that provides shared access to applications and data using a complex network, computer system and storage infrastructure. Industry standards exist to assist in designing, constructing and maintaining data center facilities and infrastructures to ensure the data is both secure and highly available. The deluge in data generation is visible in the surge in mobile data traffic, which has risen at a compounded annual growth rate of 45% over the last five years. While most of this data is stored on the cloud, it is made available to us via data centers. These unassuming structures work tirelessly behind the scenes to ensure that the seamless functioning of the technologies we heavily rely on. Without them, you wouldn't be able to chat on WhatsApp, initiate a UPI transaction or binge watch your favorite show on Netflix. As technological innovations continue to unravel, the demand for data centers is likely to follow suit. Large companies that operate massive data centers with immense computing power, storage capacity and network resources need massive green energy resources to run the data centers. With the backdrop of a global energy crisis, this decoupling of energy usage from service demand is hugely significant. According to a report by Crystal Ratings, the Indian data center industry is poised to attract investments exceeding 450 billion rupees by 2027. Siemens is one of the biggest players in the data center business globally. The Indian subsidiary has increasingly gained foothold in India's nascent data center megatrend. At the end of September 2024, Siemens order book stood at more than two times its FY24 or financial year 2024 revenue. This offers strong revenue visibility for the near future. The smart infrastructure segment which includes data centers and constituted the largest portion of Siemens revenue was at 38%. The next biggest revenue segment is energy. Siemens India's decision to demerge the energy segment of the business is on the lines of a global carve-out by its German parent three years ago. 
The new company will mirror the shareholding of Siemens Global and shareholders will receive one share of Siemens Energy India Limited for every share of Siemens. The demerger and listing are expected to be completed by 2025. Siemens could consider listing the energy business separately to unlock value from the growth in green energy related projects. Therefore, apart from the growth in the core mobility, data center and digital infrastructure businesses, Siemens India currently derives valuations from the prospects of product innovation and energy segments. At nearly 100 times trailing 12-month earnings, the company is already enjoying PE valuations last witnessed at the peak of the power and infrastructure cycle. Even on a price-to-book value basis, the stock of Siemens is fetching a premium far higher than it has ever fetched in the past decade. While the stock's return on equity over the past decade has been stable and good and the growth prospects remain sanguine on the back of innovation, investors would do well to exercise caution on the stock. Hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.